Okay, welcome to another edition of Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Uh, I, I wrote a thing a couple of days ago on Facebook, some of you might have read it, about how you've got certain people, you know, that require uh, a lot of attention in order to, you know, reinforce or strengthen their, their sense of self, their sense of identity, and then versus uh, people that need a little bit more than just attention and need recognition to validate their their worth and self-esteem, confidence in their capabilities and their qualities. Um, all these, these ideas started flowing the other day when I was at work during my my manager, this older bird, very nice, bit of a dry sense of humor and you know, she doesn't hold back her punches and uh, <laughs> when, when joking with you and she said to me, Phoenix, why, why have you shaved half of your mustache? And I said, well, and this, you know, that was when I only had half, you know, and I said to her, well, you know, this allows the ladies, the women, to see the potential man in me, and I showed her the moustache off, and it allows the girls to see the potential boy. And then when I find one, I shave or let it grow out accordingly. And she laughed and said, well, <laughs> I thought you were just crying for attention. And I thought for a moment, and I came back to her a moment later, and I said, it's not really attention I seek, you know, attention is for high school girls and people that lack a strong sense of self, and you know I have a, a strong sense of self, uh, I, I, instead of intention, you know, I, I, see, I seek recognition, of course I didn't say that, but that's what I started thinking, but I said to her, you know, it's, it's not attention I seek, to be honest, you know, I'm just having a bit of fun, this is something I've been doing for years. And I, I spared her the more elaborate uh, explanation of why I do the half-half thing from time to time. So that whole, that little interaction got me thinking. And I was, after she said, oh, you're just crying for attention, I thought, well, no, I'm not, because, you know, I don't, I don't cry for attention. I tend, to me, when crying for attention means you just need to be looked at, you know, if I shave half my face because I want attention, someone might look at me and judge me and think, oh, look at that guy. I might be getting uh, attention that isn't necessarily positive, you know? But crying for attention means that that's kind of what I want. I don't care if it's good or bad, positive or negative attention, I just want attention for the sake of attention itself. And I thought, that's not me, you know? Like, only weak people do that. You know, people that don't have a strong sense of self, they feel insubstantial, and so they do whatever, good things, bad things, uh, just just to be noticed, just to be seen, just to be heard, as if being heard and seen uh, makes them feel more substantial, makes them be able to, you know, more strongly realize their sense of self. And I'm, I'm beyond that, you know, I'm, when I'm walking around and I'm doing my thing, I don't really pay too much attention, I'm not overly concerned with, you know, the faces that are looking my direction or not looking in my direction. And, not really too bothered with what, you know, if those faces are frowning or smiling and what they're thinking about me and the judgments they make. Because I have a strong sense of self. You know, I, I, I am well aligned with my identity. There's a, a firm relationship there, a good bond. And it's, it's well developed. You know, I've, I like to think anyway. But there is something I seek. And this is what I was thinking in the cafe last week is what is it I seek? If not attention, because everyone, everyone, through a variety of means, seeks to validate themselves, their ego, through stroking, I call it in psychological terms. Stroking, you know, there's emotional stroking, intellectual stroking, physical. All, is it, all of these things make us feel more secure in ourselves, more comfortable and at ease and relieved. And, and then it came to me that indeed, it's not attention I seek to substantiate my sense of self but it's recognition, and recognition more so from people who I look up to, people who are in a sense a role model to me, who I would like to learn to possess the same qualities as, the same abilities. You know, people I look at and say, I want to be like that guy or that girl, I want to be able to do that, I want to have that strength, you know, that, that savviness, that intelligence, that charm, you know. When I'm recognized by these people, these people I look up to, instead of me feeling that I'm lesser than them, that I'm striving to possess these qualities, these traits, these abilities, 
when I see them eye to eye and they recognize me, which means they are recognizing, they are seeing in me a reflection of something they have already cognized in themselves. They are recognizing something in me. They are relaying to me or relating to me. Then I feel automatically that I am up on their level because we're seeing each other eye to eye. Therefore, that establishes that that is now the level I am at. It's no longer what I was striving for, but it is what I have attained. Just in that moment of recognition, when you look up to someone, like, let's say, you know, they're brave and they're courageous and they fear nothing, so to speak, and then a situation unfolds where you respond in, way, in a way you haven't really responded before, because generally maybe you're more timid and you shy away from making bold moves, daring risks, but you, this one time you take a leap of faith and this person sees it, this person that you admire the strength and courage of, the bravery, and they say to you, dude, what you did back there was brave, way to go. I respect that. And just that, just that little exchange of recognition can make a world of difference in really, you know, clarifying your sense of worth, clarifying the fact that you're at that level too. You know, monkey see, monkey do. People can't see or recognize anything in you that they don't have in themselves. If you peg this person for being somewhat admirable and brave, and they recognize that bravery in you, that's gonna mean something. That's substantial, a lot more substantial than if a coward with an ill reputation, who never takes, you know, a risky step. You know, if, th if that kind of person came up and said, dude, that's really courageous of you. It wouldn't, it wouldn't mean anything. It wouldn't make you feel greater about, you know, being yourself or stronger or any different. You know, it would, it would just be an empty comment. So I think the difference is that we all start off trying to grasp a sense of identity. We all need attention. And generally, it's better, obviously, if it's positive attention. Attention which fosters and nourishes us and, you know, reinforces and encourages um, all the greater aspects of our personality and our capacities to shine, to come out. Um, but either way, even if it's negative attention, through the attention we receive from others, especially from the younger ages, we develop that sense of self, that identity, the ego, the mask, you know, the who, the what, and the why. So I think the how the how that we pick up, how is it that I'm going to do these new things? How is it that I'm going to possibly become this kind of person or possess that kind of quality? How, how, how? I think the how is established following after, uh, following the foundation of the who, following the foundation of the attention, uh, you know, attention reinforced sense of identity. That, once we've got that foundation, a strong sense of self, then we can start focusing on, you know, basically, I'm a bit distracted right now, um, and our, our potential and what we can do and our capacity, our capability, our confidence in ourself. Um, but we can only do that once we've got recognition from people. So some people are recognized, you know, for good things that they do, whether by accident or whether intended. And such recognition isn't really absorbed, it doesn't really affect them as much because they're still trying to forge a strong sense of identity, you know? Whereas people that have already developed that sense of identity and they know who they are and they've come to accept who they are and they're no longer running, no longer full of fears and anxieties which distract them and keep them in a low ebb, confused pace, away from a forward moving, swift and clear, um, you know, way of progressing. People that have that sense of identity, when they receive recognition from people that are higher than them in some regard, or well developed or more refined, it also lets them know, hey buddy, you're on our level. I have kinship with you. I see you eye to eye. And I only see in you what exists in myself. So you can tell, you know, the, the types of people in the world. If you've got friends, and this is handy, if you've got friends that, you know, need a hand or they're talking, about their problems, they're always going through these same cycles and these issues. It's, it's good to know where they are at, whether they're still involved in the phase of developing their sense of identity and self, 
just by receiving attention or whether they've already got that sense of self and all they need is confidence and encouragement, inspiration, empowerment through being recognized. And it's, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious if you pay attention for what people are seeking, whether it's recognition or basic attention, it's probably pretty obvious to figure out what, what the person's uh, issue is. And, and it, once you do figure this out, it can be very useful. So basically, let's say you have a friend who is always, you know, they don't really seem to have a fixed idea of where they're going or why they're here. And they kind of drift with emotions. They always need to be around people. You know, they always need to be maybe talking about other people and gossiping or doing random things or dangerous things or exciting things. Or they, they make scenes all the time. They always cause controversy or start arguments, you know, or whatever. People that basically do whatever to get attention without, you know, without it being clear why all the time. These kind of people, I think what they need is obviously they need to define a stronger sense of self. So to do that, I would suggest holding up a mirror, which, which makes sense, doesn't it? Hold up a mirror so that they can see themselves. And what I mean when I say hold up a mirror is just paraphrase everything they're saying to you back to them. Reflect back all the information because they will reveal, probably cathartically, it, purging their emotions, their traumas, whatever unresolved issues or confusing experiences past which has maybe led them to this this place of weak will uh, uncertainty reflect all that back to them but don't just repeat it exactly the way they say it to you paraphrase it and, and connect all the dots and give them a clearer more cohesive harmonious and logical picture out of what they're giving you you know if someone's talking to you about a problem you know and, and it all seems to be about a similar theme Figure out the theme, figure out the principle of the problem, and then tell them, okay, buddy, this is basically what I'm hearing. You've gone through this, this, this. You know, just acknowledge them. Acknowledge them, give them attention, and help them see their own picture in a, in a way that maybe they hadn't seen before, or maybe they hadn't pieced together in their own mind. You know, for sometimes we have so much stuff unresolved in the past that we haven't really sat down and properly think, thought about it and connected the dots. It can help to have someone just repeat what you've essentially said in a much simpler way where the dots are connected and at least that lets you grasp the truth of the situation or at least come closer to grasping the truth. At which point you can make more progress and actually say, okay, now that I've grasped the reality of my situation, now that it's been clarified to me through a reflection, through this mirror of a person, now I can deal with it. So there's my suggestion for that. People that need attention to reinforce a sense of self, give it to them and reinforce a sense of self by providing a mirror to provide a clearer picture of who they are, of who they are. Based on everything you have gathered from what they're saying, figure out, okay, what's the best version of this person, of who they are that I can make from all this and how am I going to present it? And then after that, maybe throw in some encouragement. Say, I have faith that you can get through this. I, have, I believe and I'm confident that you are that kind of person. Uh, judging from everything I've heard and gathered, I see these traits in you and these qualities and these high points. And to me, it seems like you're this kind of person. You know, it seems like you care. It seems like you want to help people. It seems like you want to make a difference. You seem very ambitious. Maybe you should set some goals. All right, so following this, there's the, moving on to the second kind of person who might need a bit of a hand or a bit of communication. It's very dark now, so you can't really see, but you just need to hear. Second kind of person who needs recognition, the simplest thing to do, instead of providing a mirror to them and, and paraphrasing a clearer version of themselves back to them so that they can really see themselves and feel that strong unity with that sense of self, that connection, Instead of that, do the opposite. If someone is seeking to be recognized, they want to be recognized based on something that you've already cognized inside. So if you have someone that's already, you know, got a strong sense of identity and they're coming to you and they're talking about, you know, a conflict that they're involved in, a situation which requires them to, you know, 
be once again strong or courageous, then you can give them a story from your background, from the, something that makes your identity. And, and that story would be built on the principle of strength and courage and where you have had strength and courage at some point in your life and dealt with an experience. You know, and then followed, uh, following off, you know, following sharing, sharing that story of your life uh, experience. You can say then, look, you know, this happened to me. I hear what you're saying. You know, you, you felt guilty, you felt ashamed, or you felt weak, or you felt out of control. You felt unable to make a difference. Hey, dude, I've been there too. You know, you feel like you lack the strength and you lack these qualities you need to get through the situation. Well, let me tell you a story. You know, I found myself years ago or weeks ago, whatever, involved with these people, involved in this situation, and the, all this stuff happened. And I felt, hey, I feel this way about it. I feel I'm not good enough. I feel that I'm lacking. I feel that I can't cope or I can't deal with it. I can't possibly get on top of this and control the situation. But you know what happened? Blah, 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 blah happened. Someone said this, and I thought that, and I realized, wow, actually, blah, 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 blah. And then I changed, and then I made a difference, and I did this, and you know what? Even though I was so full of fear, even though I was so uncertain and doubting of myself, I made the choice to either do something or sit here and let everything remain how it was. And I realized that's not what I wanted. I wanted something better. I realized I deserve better. And I did it. And you know what? I don't regret it because now my life is tenfold better than it would be if I hadn't done that. And you know what? I see you in this situation. I think you're a good guy. I think you're a strong guy. I think you're a wholesome guy. Yeah, you've made some mistakes. Yeah, you might be lacking strength, but you know what? I've been there too. I pulled through, I'm great, and you can too. That's what a person essentially needs to hear. They don't need to hear information about them. They need it, you know, if they're seeking recognition, they want to, they want you to relate to them. They, they want you to relay information to them based on your identity, based on your experiences, your qualities, and your strengths. So give it to them. Instead of a mirror, offer a projection of your own strength or whatever it is that they need. Offer a projection of the principal thing that they are lacking, the thing that they are seeking recognition for. If they are lacking inspiration or courage, then give them an inspirational story, a story which will encourage them. Not just advice, but you relate it to yourself. Obviously, if they're seeking recognition from you, if they're droning on about all these situations, then they look up to you. They think that you're worth you know, revealing all this particular stuff to. So it might just be exactly what they need to hear for you to say, hey buddy, look what I did and it worked for me. I believe in you. And all of a sudden they think, wow, this person who was in a similar situation to me overcame the odds and they just gave me a pat on the back and they, they believe I can do it. And I believe that they believe I can do it and therefore I believe I can do it because I believe in them. So, yeah, and that's the basic idea is, you know, you have attention seekers, you have people that are, more, are beyond figuring themselves out and they want just a bit of validation, a bit of, you know, of, of their integrity, of their worth, of their capacity to deal with things and to provide certain things, which maybe sometimes, you know, for whatever reason, maybe they've lacked momentum, maybe they've chipped over and lost their footing, maybe they've just been distracted and lost sight. Whatever the reason, sometimes we, we forget ab that, about the things that we are able to do, about the things we can provide and find within ourselves, and we just connect from it. And all we need is to see that in someone else in order to be reminded and to be able to see it in us. Someone else that we look up to and have faith in and trust. So there's my, uh, there's my thoughts for the day. And who knows, who, who knows what the next levels are after, you know, using attention to reinforce your sense of identity or seeking recognition to validate your worth and ability and qualities. Maybe there's, I don't know, trying to be empowered, feeling empowered. I don't know, what, what would you seek to feel empowered? Probably, I don't know, 
that's that's another you know there's a whole other bag of tricks something else to ponder and meditate on on a future date anyway you can't really uh see me but do have faith that i am walking and you can hear that i'm talking and this is phoenix thanks for tuning in guys and yeah fair tidings to you may you receive everything you deserve and find whatever you need to bring it out from the inside so that it comes from the outside back to you. Bless.